one fine summer day in Anderson, Bruce was getting ready to pull a freight train when Jerry pulled in with the express. Phew! Whatever is that dirty object? At last, Bruce lost his patience. Jerry, why are you so shiny? I'm a splendid engine. That's my flippin' input on that, you dirty object. Oh. Bruce quivered, innocently. Is that why at one time you co-used a garden house to replace a broken air house to be splendid, I guess? Jerry got more angry than he ever had, and he fumed away. Later, Jerry pulled in to follow us and was surprised to see Larry there, waiting. Hey Jerry, you need to take my freight train to Port Dodson for me. Dispatcher's orders. Crap, why would you give me such a flipping dirty job like that? I'm an express engine, not a freight engine. Dispatcher's orders, Jerry! Alright, alright! So, Jerry coupled to the freight train and unhappily uh, steamed away. Why should I pull this train? I should be pulling the 12-15 passenger train to Vanden Hoven. Larry, later, Jerry came down a hill outside of Stevens Point, but he didn't know there was a kink in the air hose between his tender and the first car, because he jerked the train so much in Exacto Canyon. He went faster and faster. Help! Someone stop me! Jerry just then rushed into a tunnel across the river from Stevens Point. He came out of the tunnel and uh, and nearly derailed in surprise. There, ahead of him, was a train of fuel oil. Jerry couldn't stop in time. Oh, no! I guess I should just wait for help. He didn't have to wait very long, for Larry and Bruce brought a huge crane to put Jerry back on the rails. Hey Larry, who's that dirty object? That's Jerry, don't you know that? Let's just get him back on the rails and bring him to the shops, shall we? So they did bring Jerry to the shops and for repairs, and Jerry later said thank you and promised never to call Bruce a dirty object again. <laughs>